Hey guys, this is Kevin. Um, welcome to my channel, Downloads. Uh, thanks for tuning in. It's a beautiful day out here. It's pretty cold, but it's already starting to warm up with the sun here. Um, anyway, today I wanted to talk about a dream that I had. And I had this dream a few weeks ago, and it's really stuck with me ever since. Uh, because it was so it was so vivid and and the themes of the dream were so fundamental with what I was going through at the time it's funny how dreams work that way sometimes you know they're nonsense of course but every once in a while you have a dream that sticks with you you have a dream that you know exactly what it is. You know exactly um, what the dream was about, even though everything in it was analogy. Everything in it was in a completely unfamiliar setting, yet the themes still carried through. And this is one of those dreams that's really stuck with me and that I always want to remember. Even though technically it actually was very nightmarish. Um, so, what happened, I'll tell you what it was about. What happened was, I found myself, I knew that I was high up in the sky. I knew that there was this area where I was way up in the sky, and it was cloud, it was dark clouds all over the place. And I noticed that I was balancing on these beams, these beams that were running like lattices across, and there were very few of them. Uh, and um, I did have a weapon on me. I don't remember if it was a sword or a staff, but I was carrying a weapon, balancing on these beams, and fighting off these monsters, these demons that were attacking me. They're hideous creatures. They were, they look like, um, you know, Moria goblins that had wings. And um, some of them look like vampires. And they were all coming in the, there was bigger ones and there were smaller ones. Uh, they were all coming to attack me. Every time um, I would try and go further along, for some reason I knew that I was trying to get somewhere. I knew that uh, I was balancing on these beams to get across. I was, get, I was balancing on the beams to um, get to the other side of wherever I was going. I did not know at the time. But uh, these creatures were attacking me and I was fighting them off and I was doing a great job at it. And I was fighting them off one by one and just, and just you know, slashing them down and you know, still maintaining my balance, still okay, because I knew, I looked down, and I knew that whatever was down there was, if I fell off there, I was screwed. <laughs> it, it had that, the dream had that kind of feeling, and so I was battling these, uh, balancing on these beams, doing a fantastic job, and I was getting proud of myself, and I was like, yes, I'm getting through it, I'm getting through it, but you know what, the beams seemed to go on forever, and the creatures, the goblins that were attacking me, seemed to also go on forever. And it was hours, it felt like hours that I had been battling these creatures, going across these beams. And so, eventually, I got to the point where I was just like, you know what, I don't want to fight these guys anymore. I'm going to just throw down, I'm going to throw out my weapons, so I threw out my weapons, and you know what, the demons were surrounding me everywhere, and I was just like, you know what, peace out guys, and I just fell back, and I fell, and I fell through the dark clouds, and I was like, you know what, I don't care what's down there, uh, you know, if I go splat, you know, then that'll be that, oh well. So I did, and I fell, and I fell, and I fell, 
and something seemed to change at that moment. As soon as I was about to hit the ground, I'm like, okay, this is it. So I just let myself go to it, accepted it. And at that moment, when I hit the ground that I was apparently falling towards, it was like bursting through a bubble. And when I, it was, it was incredible because when I, when I fell through whatever that ground was, it was like falling through water. And then I was instantly, my world completely transformed and it was no longer gray clouds around me. But what it was, was it was like a Van Gogh painting come to life and everything seemed to stretch with me. It was like that, if you've ever seen the movie The Matrix, where um, Neo jumps off the building and uh, he uh, falls and then he's gonna hit the concrete, but he goes and he sh the concrete stretches with him. He falls through it and it bounces him back. The difference being there was that's what happened to me. The difference was, was that I kept falling and I kept falling through layer after layer after layer. Van Gogh paintings, um, abstract art. I just kept on falling through this amazing, amazing psychedelic layer after layer, and it was incredible. And that's when I woke up. So, looking at this dream for first glance, you might think, wow, that doesn't mean much at all. But to me, I knew when I woke up exactly what it was about. This is an allegory for the battles that we fight every day when we're trying to beat all these th obstacles that are around us. We're trying to get to that point, that goal across the beams. We're trying to get to the other side while still maintaining dignity, balance, balancing on the beams, maintaining dignity, uh, maintaining a, a warrior spirit which is um, carried through, for me at least, um, through the years. Um, and, we, and we keep on fighting and we keep on fighting, but you know what? The thing is, is we never get to the end. And so we end up wearing ourselves out. And so there's a point where sometimes it's okay to just let things fall, let the chips fall wherever they might fall. Um, and if you do that, like I did, falling off the beam on purpose and surrendering to that gravity, then you discover that it was like a squirrel cage. And you discover that, yes, I can battle through, but you know what, if I take it too seriously, then that's all it's gonna be, it's going to be a battle. And if I can't rest myself, if I can't surrender every once in a while, then what's the point of the battle? I can't even appreciate it in that way. I can't even enjoy the artistry that I've created by making life a battlefield. And so it's not necessarily a bad thing to keep fighting and it's not necessarily a bad thing to let go but having that option of interval allows you to step aside in what you're doing and realize what it is for exactly what it is so this dream really helped me out a lot and I'm always gonna remember it and hopefully by this story you guys maybe took something from it also so that's my dream. Um, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Um, like, bleh, like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.